I also expressed our concern about the PRC's unfair trade practices and the potential consequences of industrial overcapacity for global and U.S. markets, especially in a number of key interest, uh, industries that will drive the 21st century economy, like solar panels, uh, electric vehicles, and the batteries that power them. China alone is producing more than 100 percent of global demand for these products, flooding markets, undermining competition, putting at risk livelihoods and businesses around the world. Now, this is a movie that we've seen before, uh, and we know how it ends, with American businesses shuttered and American jobs lost. President Biden will not let this happen on his watch. We'll do what's necessary to ensure that American workers can compete on a level playing field. America's actions are not aimed at holding back China's development, nor are we decoupling our economies. As Secretary Yellen said during her recent visit, that would be disastrous for the global economy, including for the United States. We want China's economy to grow. So do the American businesses and investors here, uh, several of whom I had an opportunity to speak to in Shanghai. But the way China grows matters. As I told my counterparts, that means fostering a healthy economic relationship where American workers and firms are treated equally and fairly.